This is a sensory play mat, including crochet, embroidery and quilting techniques that I've made for my friend's baby. The baby can lie in the centre and reach out and play with all of the elements around the outer edge of the blanket. First of all, it was made for my friend's baby. Her name is Kokomi and there's rainbow letters for her name and a crochet rainbow with stitching coming out in rainbow colours. Between there's um, pom-poms and then a maze. The maze has a big button inside and for safety it needs to be bigger than 3.2 centimetres. It's securely sewn on with both machine and hand stitching. Next there's a little sun with rainbow loops coming out from it and a little octopus with crocheted tassels for the baby to hang on to and pull. It's also padded for softness. Next comes a little rainbow book. It has all the different colours of the rainbow on each different page and at the end there's an extra page with pink because it's for a little girl. Next come different kinds of ribbon that all have different textures and the stitching um, also gives different textures. Then there's a flap section with different colours and corduroy underneath to make it soft. Under each flap there are different swatches of material in different colours and I've chosen an Australia theme here with different animals for every second um, swatch. They're all very soft and nice to touch. The next section is a pocket with a little octopus teddy inside. The octopus can come right out. Down the bottom the loopy stitching matches with the octopus's loopy legs. It can pull down inside but can't pull right through. If she wants to keep the teddy separately from the rug, she can use the pocket section as a little tunnel. All around the blanket there are different um, loops of ribbon. There are two sections of different kinds of pink, rainbow loops and a rainbow cord that's sewn very securely that she can pull and play with. My favourite section is the pull tunnel element. Each end has a large chunky object that can't be pulled through the tunnel, like a carnation or a bee. There are some egg looking things and a flower on one end too. The flower and the bee can reach each other so the bee can go over and get some pollen and the bee can also reach the peekaboo flower that's stitched on beside it. This is called a peekaboo flower because you can fold in the petals, they're all um, separate from the blanket. So you fold them all up and then say peekaboo and open it up. This next flower also has muted coloured rainbow themed petals and it can also fold into a peekaboo flower as well. There are a few more flowers in this section that are securely sewn down to the blanket and some bullion stitched bees. The final section is a concentration game, also with the rainbow theme for the stitching holding it securely to the blanket. Each of the concentration tabs are secured on with um, elastic and the child needs to find the pairs. There's a pair. This is what they all look like opened. The centre of the blanket is stitched in rainbow colours to hold it all securely together. This blanket was really fun to make. If you'd like me to make videos showing how to make any of the elements shown in the blanket, please let me know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.